AFTV Dom, look at the smile on his face. He's happy, he's smiling, happy hammer. Um, did you deserve it today? Absolutely, Robbie. I thought we played you off the park, if I'm honest. And, you know, I don't think many clubs can say that uh, when they play Arsenal. I've always said to break Arsenal down, you, 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 if you can't outplay them, you bully them. But I think we just completely done both today. Mm. You're a, a weak side, I think. Um, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think clubs like us fear Arsenal anymore. You're going through a very difficult transitional period. Mm. Um, but listen, I was confident all week. I was confident we win. And we deserved it. Mm. Same for you, did you, what you just said. And, and I remember I was doing an interview with Nicky and he was kind of, you know, sort of saying that as well. Do, do, do teams like West Ham fear Arsenal anymore? Not anymore, no. Um, I think it was by far the worst Arsenal team I've ever seen us come up against. Um, and Nazare just... At places, he, he controlled that midfield. He was motivated, wasn't he's, he? The thing is, he's, he's, the, um, he's the missing link we've uh, had all season. But we're having a decent season, like compared to mm. the last We've got good players. We have got good players, but mm. the missing link this season has been in midfield, the creativity. We lost Lanzini in the summer before the mm. World Cup. Huge miss. Now, like, you you got to... We, so, you, you know, we had to bring someone more creative. I think Anderson can do it in the middle, but then we've got no one on the wings. But Nasri does it all. I think him and him and Anderson, um, you know, linked up today. You know, it was like it was like Nasri of when he was at you mm. at some point today. He ran the he ran the show. Our midfield, we won the midfield battle. I think mm. that's why yeah, that's I mean, that's the, that's the key to the win today. Mm. I was very surprised to see Torreira on the bench. Well, it, I think it, he's, it, every one of our fans were like are still trying to work out. I think he's by far what, your best. He's, he's a quality right? player, and I just couldn't understand why he was on the bench, and we paid the price for it. And it was a very poor performance by Arsenal. We did have chances, though. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. despite what you said, I mean, we did. I thought Lacazette in the first half, uh, he had a couple of chances in a game that normally takes. Aubameyang had chances. Iwobi had chances. We just didn't take the chances the only, at all today. The only bad thing to come out of this, Rob, is that Aubameyang didn't do anything for my dream team today. <laughs> but um, but uh, I thought I'd, we defended too perfectly today. Mm. Um, Considering we've not, we're without Balbuena, who's by far our best defender this season, yeah. um, I've been very, very critical of Angelo Bonner this, Angelo Bonner this season. I think he's, um, I don't think he's good enough anymore. But today, different player. Mm. First, first half um, at the start of the game, I thought you know you were the better team. Um, we looked nervous as we tried to play out from the back, but then you're the same. I think Socrates is all right, but he needs someone better in defence. I think Koscielny's way past it. I don't know why you're not playing Bellerin. I think Bellerin's a decent player you need. Well, yeah. um, I mean, you, you can say, I mean, you listen, Arsenal are a good side. I mean, there's plenty of players in your team who I'd have at have, have West Ham any day of the week. But, you know, I mean, I've been watching, I, I watch you guys every week mm. and um, on IFTV and I see, I see you against, uh, I've seen you against, uh, well, I've watched you against a couple of weeks ago. Anyway. You're missing, yeah, you know, we, we all know you, what was mm. going to happen there, but, you know, you, you miss... You, you've got so many missing links in the midfield as well and I think creative I don't know what the hell's going on with Ozil um, but I think your main your main problem is the defence mm. possibly goalkeeper I mean Leno's I think your Leno's too hot and cold mm. and uh, West Ham what can you do this season uh, you, you get, I was impressed with you guys when you came to the Emirates mm. it was a, I thought that was I thought to be honest I thought you was a bit fortunate that day to win that game what can West Ham do this season I think you've got a good team well, I said when we played, I think it was Chelsea here, um, top seven. I still remain that. I reckon we can finish in the top seven. Um, to be honest, I think we're better than Everton. Um, we may not look at it at times, but I, th I honestly think we are. Um, you know, we, we smashed them away, as, as Dom just said, you, you know. Um, and yeah, I, I reckon top seven. Good season for you guys. What would it be for you, Dom? Listen, I think, uh, like I said, just now, considering the last two seasons we've had, which were horrendous, this season's been a massive improvement. And look, we lost our first four games. If you told me where we'd be now after we lost to Wolverhampton Wanderers in September, I'll snap your hand off. I will go for the FA Cup, though. Go for it. You know, we're not going down. You know, seventh is probably a bit of a push. And even if we do get seventh, we'll have to rely on someone in the top six to win the cup if we're to get it. Just win a cup ourselves, you know? Go for the FA Cup. Like I said, we're not going down. We're not going to get in the top four, top seven maybe, but out of push. FA Cup, all day for me. All day. 